friends, welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the chi-square distribution's probability density function. Chi-square distribution has just one parameter, the degrees of freedom. And let's vary that parameter and watch the changes get reflected in our interactive chart. And you'll see the chi-square distribution looks like a rolling wave as we increase degrees of freedom, it rolls to the right. So going from 9 to 11 degrees of freedom, rolls a little to the right. 11 to 15, a little bit more to the right. 15 to 19 rolls even further to the right. Let's put our original 5 back in there. That's the original graph and that's what we're going to make. Now one problem with the chi-square distribution is that Excel doesn't have the formula for the probability density function. You actually have to derive it from the actual mathematical formula. And here is the mathematical formula for the chi-square probability density function. Right there. I've got to come up with the Excel equivalent of that. And here it is. It's a pretty long and ugly formula. You might have to pause the video and zoom in on that to get it all, but we'll come back to that. Now we're going to create our X and Y data. Let's go to the X data first. Instead of starting with zero, we're starting with 0 0.001 because zero acts kind of funny in that formula. Next cell is 0 0.02. Cell after that is the previous cell plus 0.2. And we're going to drag that formula down. We want to center that first, and to drag it down, just put the cursor on the cell, move the cursor to the corner of the cell till that X appears, and then drag the whole cell block down as far as you need to, and as soon as you release the mouse, you have all of the data brought down, just like we're doing here. Okay, there it is, your X axis data. Here's the y-axis data. Now, chi-dist, the formula there, you would think that would be the probability density function, but it's not. Just the percentage of area, curve, the curve area to the right of x. And we're going to graph that and drag it down just to show you that that's true. And here is the probability density function. Probably have to zoom in on that and pause the video to get all that, but that's what goes in cell D54. That's the mathematical Excel equivalent of the formula. So remove the color and put the cursor in the corner to see the X and drag both of those cells down and you're dragging the formulas down. And release it when you are down to the bottom of the X data. There it is. We have the data for the X and Y axes. X axis to the left, Y axis is under probability density function. Put the blue color back in there. Now let's make the chart. Pretty straightforward to do. Now this is Excel 2003, by the way, and put the cursor anywhere you want, hit insert, chart, and it's an area chart. There it is. First variation of that area chart, next, and I'm going to select its datas and columns. I'm going to add the first series of Y data, and first we need to put the label, put that label in there, and that label is the probability of X given the degrees of freedom. And as soon as we type it in and hit enter, you'll see that will be put onto the chart. There we go. And we're going to put the values and delete what's in there and hit that little square and go to the graph, go to the chart, select all that data. Drag that down, get all that data, then hit the little square in the corner of the dialog box, puts the data in there. Now we're going to get our x-axis data. Same thing, hit that little square. Go select all of the data under X. That's our X axis data. And once you release it, and then hit that little square in the corner of the dialog box, you'll see we have all our X and Y data. Hit next. Now we're going to put the title on the chart, which is chi square distribution probability density function. And you'll see that will be put on the chart as soon as we hit enter after typing it in. x-axis is just labeled x. Okay, hit next and we're just about finished. There's our chart. Let's move it up a little bit. You can drag it right up. Put it over the top of the existing chart. One thing we want to do, the x-axis on the new chart, we want to have whole numbers in there. So go click on the x-axis. Right there, click that right there, 
and to go to the second tab, scale, and the second square down, number of categories between ticks, change that to 10, hit OK. Now you can see we have whole numbers, and it makes the chart much more readable. Okay, let's vary the uh, degrees of freedom and see if we have made it correctly, changing 5 to 9. There, rolling wave. 9 to 11, rolls to the right a little bit more. 11 to 15, and back to 5. There you have it, we've done it right. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash eManual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.